And joining us here in Lagos, Nigerian film actress Hilda Dukubo. Thank you for joining us on the News at 10. Good evening. Good evening. Um, are you surprised by the sexual harassment accusations uh, in the movie industry? Not exactly. Just, um, just surprised and worried about the, the rate at which it's coming right now and the outbursts. That's probably what I'm surprised about, but um, not that it does exist because we've heard rumors of it, but no one has actually come out before now to say um, I've been abused or I've been molested or harassed or anything. But starting out uh, in the Nollywood industry, did you have any of such experiences? Not personally. And, and of course, at that time, no one had anything that they could um, use as bait for you as an actor. We were all starting off. Everybody was, you know, it was starting for everyone. So um, I guess no one had, um, had anything. Uh, plus, most of us who started off the same time were all fresh graduates from school. And then the ones who crossed over from television, um, you know, came also trained. Because you can do this only with young people who first don't know um, their roles as actors or do not know how to tackle an audition and pass an audition honorably or just don't understand the environment of the business that they're in. Those are the only people you can intimidate, not people who know their way. A Ghanaian filmmaker has been quoted to say that Africa's movie industry might have more heavy wine stains um, than any other. And in his words, he said, because men get away with a lot in these parts. True, true. Um, men get away with a lot in these parts. But whether we'll have more wine stains in Nollywood, I don't know. But what I do know is that a few people have come out to say they've been coaxed into um, bowing down to the um, cast, um, couch casting. And some have said it's even gone beyond coaxing them to actually abusing them, right? So if that is indeed true, and it's beginning to sound like it, because I don't think that any lady would come up and say, I've been harassed and, and it's bold enough to call names and all of that and we'll do that for fun, except the person is crazy. So what do you think should, should happen? Uh, the few that have come out to say this is what's happening, the few that are naming names, um, what should happen to them? We understand that they, they've sort of put, the Actors Guild have put in a, uh, a sort of email uh, where they can investigate the allegations. At least that's a takeoff point. Um, but most importantly is no one should dare to want to gag them or shame them or embarrass them because the reason people don't speak up is the fear of stigmatization and rejection. Um, societies believe about what is norm for um, a young lady and a guy, right? And that's not to say men haven't been abused, but what's the rate? One to four, one in 18, I mean. How do you even begin to compare that? Um, so first thing to do is listen to them and invite the other party and investigate. Investigate without intimidating. Do not try to intimidate any of the girls. Do not try to shame them or blame them. Just listen up and do not begin to ask them for unnecessary um, evidences, right? Let, let, let's, let's use what is there. But going forward, going forward, I think that the guild should just do more than investigating and put together um, an ethic book, right, that would be binding on everyone and share the same agreement with um, the other production, the big production houses like um, um, African Magic, Rock TV and everybody, including Netflix that is coming in now, let everyone make whoever they're commissioning sign that agreement not to abuse anyone on set, pre-production, production or post-production, by whatever guise. 
Don't coax people into doing things that they're not supposed to do. Don't sexually abuse them. Don't spread intimidation on set. And don't misuse your power as either director or producer or anybody for that matter. All right. Don't do that. Thank you so much, Russian actress Hilda Dukovo. Thank you for joining us on News at 10. You're welcome. Thank <music> you.